Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can use BAM to control external instrument via MIDI, which has been recently added in. And I thought actually that could be a good tutorial uh, on how to show you how it works. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So please do click on the button subscribe and also set reminders on to be notified to have more videos. Thank you again. So we are inside the um, AUM. So as you can see, I have already uh, preloaded BAM here from Imaginando as an audio source inside the audio channel. And let's create um, another audio channel. Let's choose as an audio source, for example, something regarding bass, because why not? We are going to um, drive um, king of bass in this case. So we connect the two. So we click here on the left hand side and we select BAM as a MIDI source. So that MIDI events or MIDI signal coming out from BAM will actually go to King of Digital. And inside here, we'll leave the preset as it is, King of Bass, perhaps we reduce a bit the volume like so, because normally it is quite high. So let's open up again uh, BAM, as you can see here. Let's click where it says default here for a preset and um, let's choose a different project like why not Bass Driver, one, two, three. It will ask me if, um, I want to load a different project and I'm going to click on yes. Now I deactivate this selection here where you see the arrow pointing down so that it will not move between different scenes. And I'm going to activate scene number eight here so that I have a number of clips here playing. As you can see now, I have muted the first channel where we have BAM. BAM is still running. And you can see there is no MIDI signals. Uh, there are no mini MIDI signals coming out from BAM reaching out to, to King of Bass because you don't see any activity here on King of Bass. So let's open up again BAM. BAM is running, you can see. And um, uh, all these clips are being played on this scene. Now let's click down here uh, where for the mixer. You can see all the different channels which um, are um, played at the moment. So I'm going to um, unmute and then stop BAM. Of course I can use the transport control here of AUM for starting and playing. Okay, that's nice. Now let's try to isolate that base and let's see where it comes from. And I do that uh, clicking on solo on some of the tracks here on the mixer so that I know which one uh, represents only the base. And that is for the purpose of just to identify which uh, clip has the base um, being played. So as you can see, it is uh, track number four. Okay, so I'm going to select it here. Okay, so that I can see at the top also the um, different modules which have been loaded. You see there is an oscillator here and uh, parametric EQ here. So in this is track number four, as it says here. Now, if I click where you see this symbol up here on the trigger section, uh, section, and you have this uh, uh, selection for MIDI. So you have a MIDI input channel and device, and you have the same for a MIDI output. So MIDI output channel, which we can leave it to one, but of course you can change it to six, one, two to 16 or all. And, and that will be the MIDI channel, which is used for MIDI output. And then you have the MIDI output device here. Click none and let's select the BAM output. Of course, you can see the selection there available, none and BAM output. But I, the selection in terms of device, may be different, of course, if you have uh, other uh, interfaces, for example. Let's click OK. And now, and let's click Play. And then let's uh, go back to, actually, let me close the BAM first. And let's click Play. And let's observe what happens on King of Digital. As you can see, both channels are, are played. So there is the audio coming out from BAM, and now we have the audio also coming out from King of Bass. Okay, but you see activity up here, and also audio coming out from the second audio channel. Let's try again. Now, 
Now, let's say that I want to hear only king of um, bass for that bass sound and not bum. Well, so how do I do that? So, first of all, I can go here on bum, still on the truck uh, mixer. Okay, so if I now mute that, You can still hear both um, audio channels uh, playing, and that is because I have still active solo here. Now, if I remove the solo, but I keep these on mute, let me show you what happens. Uh, pay attention to the activities here between the two. So effectively, the uh, track number four is muted and it also stops from sending me the output signal, in this case, to King of Bass, right? So, and that is not what we want because we want uh, to actually have uh, um, King of Bass running, but not the audio inside uh, BAM. So the way to get around that is to unmute the track and then where it says here volume, here on track four, set it down to zero, which is the equivalent of turning down the dial here to zero. Okay, now let's try. So in this way, you don't see any output coming out from track number four. So the um, volume of the internal engine for this oscillator is down to zero, but it's not muted. And therefore, it's still sending me the um, output signal, which I've been configured here for the BAM output um, device on channel number one, which is then driving, as you can see, King of Bass. And that's the approach that you would use, of course, for double click, double click again to drive other, um, other, other synth. So you will add other synth and you will um, go to other tracks, ensure that you have selected as a MIDI output device, BAM output, and then perhaps choose a different MIDI output channel. Okay, so that's one way to actually drive external synth or external gears directly from BAM using the MIDI output track functionality. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.